everybody welcome back to episode number 18 what is going on how's everybody doing it is great to see you thanks for spending some of your time here i appreciate it as always i'm in the fisherman's area of our underground village yeah and uh i'm here because we're gonna do some work to start out today at least we're getting this area finished and then probably something else too but i'm not making any promises but i'm gonna try to because we didn't build anything last time and i want to build some i want to build stuff all right so if you like what you see here today and you want to see some more of it the best way you can help make that happen is to click that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, it would be greatly 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 appreciated but as always thanks for spending your time let's get started i got some terraforming to do back we finished the fisherman's house already what do you think it looks good from up here right it looks cool like the way it's nestled into the stone i like that a lot i think it looks good i changed the dock i brought it out one more block because dock and block rhyme and i want to hear myself do that no that's not why it's because it looks better So we did the terraforming in the path we, that goes all the way down. The lake was not there before. Uh, there's a little crossing here, and I think this is going to turn into a river that goes all the way down to where the uh, clerics, the church is going to be down at the end. So we'll start up here. We'll walk down in. Nice, nice, right? From the entrance. We'll, show, we'll, we'll, here, we'll go back to one, and we'll start here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to the underground village where the, uh, what are they called? M underground B secret society of mole people who are jerks and whore emeralds live. Let's go down there. Oh, look at this. Isn't this nice? Wow, that's very picturesque. I think I should take a picture of it. Cleek, I took a picture. Oh, it's pretty. Well, I can't see anything over there, but, and oh, I bet that will look really nice one day soon. Let's go down the pathway. Oh, oh, look at that! Normally, I'm very averse to the texture of granite, but in this setting, I kind of like it. Uh, but seriously, I usually am kind of averse to the texture of granite, and I do like it right here. Uh, I think it looks good next to the terracotta, and I think it has, like, okay, the noise level, meaning, I don't know how to explain what the noise level is, but just trust me, if you think of noise like TV noise, um, the noise level of the coarse dirt and the granite are like, oh man, they're really close to each other. They're really close to each other. And I never noticed it before. I was playing around with the stuff and I really like how they look next to each other. 
and I like how that color breaks up the gray monotonous kind of gray green of the stone in the cave so this is going to be becoming a fixture throughout my cave areas and I'm sorry if you're still a granite hater but I, I, I like it I like it I don't know maybe I've just looked at granite so much that I, I want it I want it to be I want it to look good to me so I'm, I'm willing it into existence but uh, I, I do like how this breaks things up so uh, I included it in a couple spots coming down the pathway here and this little this little this kind of a natural I think it was a like a secondary cave that started generating you know what I mean those there's those little tiny ones that just terminate I think it was like that and this came out well none of this was here so it was probably a bigger cave I don't remember what this used to look like. Maybe I'll go back and find it when we finish up uh, the whole village. And I'll kind of uh, find it in the backup. Kind of put them side by side to see, see how much work it did down here. Yeah. See, I like it. I think it looks real nice. I think it looks natural. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I feel like... I feel like I'm not. I feel like I, I really do like it. So, I planted some sugar cane down here. I know, look. I know. It's underground. There's no sunlight. How does stuff grow? I, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's, it grows. Okay? Give me a break. So we come down, and then there's this little crossing here where the lake is going to go. The river is going to come out from there. Kind of a stream here. It'll probably thicken up down there. So there's a little natural uh, crossing we come up to the fisherman's house and the market uh, over here there's some hanging fisherman's nets which <laughs> I don't know the cobwebs as nets is always kind of iffy to me because man there's some shoddy looking nets uh, a, a large smoker where we're smoking more than one fish at a time like the one block smoker think of this like the multi-block smoker right some campfires uh, lit underneath unlit on top the fish are on the campfire smoke comes through it looks like it's doing a thing again i know what kind of smoker is that man just holes all over it i just trust me it works it makes delicious smoked fish i hate smoked fish i hate all fish really i'm not a big fantasy for me. but that's good stuff in there so around the outside we have the dock which i like i don't mm, i feel like these posts are a little thick for a dock of this scale but i i, I, I like them enough to go with them i like it enough to go with it i, I think it adds a lot to the um feeling that the house is supported by it's part of the support how do I say this part of the support for the entire house is within this dock structure you know what I'm saying maybe I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying more granite and terracotta because even down here I like it do I like it underwater yeah I like it underwater it looks great underwater Oh, is there anything tucked back here? No, nope, just a little light and some mushrooms. Lots. I gotta put more mushrooms down here. That's what I forgot to do. There was one thing I forgot to do before I hit record. That was it. More mushrooms. Dang. Uh, a lot of stripped wood here. Spruce. Birch. Birch and spruce. And spruce. Birch. Again. Cyan wool and white wool for the uh, tent. Ooh, shouldn't be there. It could be there though. There is stone wool behind there. This little tucked in area. I almost thought about adding something to make it look like a little bed, like somebody's been sleeping back here. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Considering this is like a, we're gonna have real fishermen villagers down here. It, it's kind of a functioning village for us too to do a lot of trading. So. The lore of a kind of like I don't know like a 
homeless villager kind of seems out of place but maybe you know what who cares everything down here is out of place why do they even have roofs it's covered it's covered by rocks don't need roofs ridiculous so here's where they clean the fish there's the menu here's the products on sale um, storage barrels and chests everywhere because I think they look good as just natural uh, kind of decoration to make things look, you know, a little lived in. Plus, I always end up putting a bunch of junk everywhere, which is kind of fun later to come back and see where all the stuff, stuff you thought you lost you know, years ago, months ago ends up being, oh, it's in the fisherman's house, it's in his kitchen. <laughs> Why is it there? Who knows? It's like another star or something. Bookshelves, books by chairs, books by beds. People like to read in bed. That is it. That's the fisherman's, fisherman's house. The underground village fisherman's house. I think it came out really nice. And I'm happy for it presence here and I enjoy putting my eyes on it I get a good feeling when I put my eyes on it so I think before I do any more work down here I gotta at least try to get some uh, wither skeleton skulls so I'm going to meet you <sighs> this is always really tough because I die doing this a lot but I try to do it on camera and not get killed I'm going to meet you at the Nether Fortress. Alright, here we are. Last time I was here, I died, and when I came back, a wither skeleton was wearing all my stuff. And he beat on me repeatedly for a long time until I finally the help of some potions and some pretty pretty outstanding strategy on my part uh, was able to destroy him now uh, it, it wasn't outstanding it, it was a fine strategy it worked let's just say it worked okay it involved some ender pearls and potions and building walls like this hey look at you you're still here huh that wall was something that helped me get my stuff back. Ooh, no, 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 no. See, I don't want to kill him with this. Ah, I didn't want to kill him with the bow. I didn't think it would kill him with one shot. Oh. 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 Hi. Hi. See, I can't find it. I can't find the range without getting hit. All right, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. Who? Who, who, who did what? I didn't do it. Yeah, get him. Hey, boys. Let's go. Aha! Yes, there we go. Oh, there you are. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We found the secret to killing one of those skeletons. It was so easy. Oh no! Oh, we got a lot of boys over here. We're adventuring. Oh, hey! <laughs> we almost had a pigman issue. That was cute. Alright. Ah, there we go. Come on, too easy, right? Ah, I got me. Oh, we are got it. Down to a science. Hi. 
Ooh. Mm. You got a bony little hands on me. Hey, look at us. There's always a blaze. Oh, ah. Excellent, 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 excellent. Ah, oh, it's gonna make our lives in the uh, place where the mole people live so much easier. Um, yeah. Sweet. I'm headed back home. Hopefully, I make it without dying. See you there. We're home, and I want my beacon. So, no fancy fight for me. Uh, I've had enough death over the past few days, but I do want that beacon right now, so oh, I don't like doing this either. I don't like doing much in this game. It feels like whenever I'm talking to you guys. Oh crap. I think I only have four arrows on me. What am I doing? I think I'm gonna die here. I think I'm gonna die in here. I think I'm gonna die in this fight. I can't believe I only had four arrows. <sighs> no, I'm not dying. 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 Come on, man. I'm not dying. You die. Whew. Whew. <sighs> that was special, wasn't it? We did it. We are Nether Star approved. Next time, I have a big, big build planned. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to split it up into two episodes, but it's going to be a fun one, and it's going to be a practical one, and it's going to be a good looking one. I can't wait. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a great rest of your week, rest of your weekend. I appreciate you coming by and spending some of your time here. Have a lovely day and I will see you very soon. Bye now.